How's it going everyone, Kellen Rec here. Today I wanna to do a quick Adobe Premiere tutorial on slowing down footage. A few weeks ago, I did a video on time remapping in Adobe Premiere Pro, and a lot of people had questions about how to take your high frame rate footage and slow it down, um, not just with the time remapping or the time ramping. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can do it in Premiere, and then there's a couple ways that you can take footage and slow it down a little more than you might normally think you could. So let's go over those today. So if we dive into Premiere Pro here, you can see that I've got two clips and we have right here our frame rate tab. So you can see that one of these is shot in 120 frames per second and the other is shot in 59.94 frames, so about 60 frames per second. And I'm working on a sequence that is 24 frames per second or 23.976 frames per second. So the key here is obviously that our sequence is that 24 frames per second and my two clips are higher frame rate. And that's how we shoot and we do slow motion is we shoot in a higher frame rate. So that's 60 frames, 120 frames, 240, whatever your camera can do, that's what's gonna make the slow motion smooth and look really nice. If your camera only shoots 24 frames per second, this isn't quite gonna work for you. So let's start with the clip that is 60 frames per second. Um, what I wanna do here is the first way that we can slow down our footage is something called interpret footage. So if we right click on our clip, you go to modify, interpret footage, you have the option to assume a certain frame rate for, for your clips. So if you shot a huge batch of clips, um, you know, say 50 clips in a folder and they were all shot at 60 frames per second, well, you can highlight them all, click on assume this frame rate and just change it to 24 frames per second. Now your footage will play back at 24 frames per second and it will look that nice slow motion. So that is the first way that you can do it. And you can do that with anything. If I took my 120 frame clip, modify interpret footage, I can do the same thing and I can change it to any frame rate that I want using the interpret footage. Now I'm just gonna go back and change the, back to the original frame rate. Now the next thing we can do is we can take that clip and drag it into our sequence. And we wanna keep the existing settings because we want our sequence to remain 24 frames per second. So now if you play it back, you'll see that we are playing in normal speed. It looks as though this was shot in real time and that's because it's playing back the 60 frames in our 24 frame sequence. We want this to slow down. So what we wanna do, our second option for slowing down footage is to right click and change the speed duration. So if you don't wanna do the interpret footage method, you've got this speed duration method. And here you can just type in the speed you want. So if you want something to go faster, like a time lapse, you could change this to say 500%. But if you want it to go slower, we'll hit 40%. Now the reason that I do 40% on a 60 frame per second clip is because 40% of 60 frames is 24 frames per second. Now what you can see is our footage plays back very smoothly, perfectly at 24 frames per second. Now here's a tip. When you're doing the speed duration method, you can do something a little bit extra and bring out a little more slow motion. If we change this to say 25%, we'll see that we have a much slower clip, but the footage is a little choppy and because that's basically we're taking the 60 frames and spreading them out further than we should be. So we have a few blank frames in the middle there. And that's why it looks a little choppy. Well, what you can do is right click, speed duration, time interpolation, change from frame sampling to optical flow. What this does is Premiere is now building in frames that'll smooth out your shot. Because this is a effects heavy um, effect here, processor heavy effect, you're gonna need to render in and out. So just set an in and out in your timeline with the I button and the O button where you want it to start and end, and then go up to sequence, render in to out. So once it's rendered out, you'll see that if we play it back, it's actually got a great smooth slow motion look. And now we're basically taking a clip that's 60 frames per second and effectively making it something a little bit slower. I mean, if we say, let's say 24 divided by 0.25, we're effectively making this clip a 96 frames per second shot because of the optical flow. And if you look really closely, you might be able to see that Premiere is adding a few tiny adjustments and frames in there to smooth everything out, but it really looks pretty darn good. Um, you can notice a little happening in the Boston shirt here, but it just looks like a flickering of the lights, which happen in slow motion anyways. So 
that is one move you can do with the speed duration is you can use the optical flow and the time interpolation and you can really get a little bit more out of your slow motion shots. And then finally, the third way to slow things down is to, is the same way we did in my time remapping video, is you right click the effects button here, time remapping, speed, and then you're, you can hit P to get your pen tool and you can go in and actually scale things up and down. Just drag this up and then you can see that it'll start fast and slow right down on, whoops, let me drag it to where the actual action is. Start fast and then it will slow right down on our cue so we can really ramp into or out of a slow motion effect. And you'll see that right here. And again, I've got a 120 frame clip here where we can see this same type of effect working. It looks like a normal action shot here, but if we go into speed duration, we could play this back at say 20%, get it a little bit slower. Or we could play this back, let's see. We take 120 divided by 24, five times slower. If we wanna go a little bit slower than that, we could even go to 10% and try using the optical flow. And you can see it's choppy right now. So if we render it out just a little bit, we'll actually see that things smooth out. And the optical flow, again, a great way to slow things down just a little bit more than you need to. So let's play this back and you can see, you'll notice a little bit in the bat, you might get some frames uh, that are being built with the optical flow, but overall you can really slow things down nicely with this effect. You'll see when he's swinging with the optical flow, when he's swinging, you can actually see those built frames. So for certain effects where it's a lot of fast motion, you can see there's some weird stuff going on there but mostly um, the clips won't look bad. If you have people walking, you really wanna slow them down with the optical flow, it's gonna work great. So these are the three ways that you can slow down footage in Adobe Premiere. Now the key to all of this again is that you're shooting at a higher frame rate. So if your sequence is 24 frames per second or even 30 frames per second, you wanna be shooting at at least 60 frames per second for your footage. Then you can slow it down. You can use the interpret footage to adjust batch clips in your bin with your footage. You can also do the speed duration to give a specific duration that you want things to slow down. And finally, you can also use your time remapping to keyframe and ramp in and out of slow motion effects. Let me know in the comments if you have questions. I like to go back and make videos for you guys based on your questions, so please let me know. This is the result of people having questions on the time remapping video that I did a couple weeks ago. So again, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed or have any questions. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to my channel. We'll check you back next week at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.